Monitor Mr. Glasser's temperature every two hours and page me if there's any complications. Okay. Ellen, I asked you a question. Did you sleep with Sebastian? You know, Matt... Just answer I... the question. Did you sleep with him? Yes, I did. We were only gone a few hours, and we came home, and we found the place like this. Is there anything missing? No, robbery wasn't a motive here. No, it appears the only thing missing was Serena's favorite toy, a, a stuffed animal we call her Dirty Kitty. That's why we think this attack was of the personal nature. Mm. I'll have the place dusted for prayer and see what we come up with. Oh, come on, look, Garcia, don't waste your time. I know who's behind this. Sounds like Professor Collins is being uncooperative. I thought he was smarter than that. Well, perhaps he needs to be reminded who will pay the price if he doesn't give us what we want. You've given us invalid code, Professor. Again. Uh, please. My medication. Cooperation in exchange for medication. I... need it. We allowed your son and his girlfriend to return to the States. You assured us you'd provide us with the information we wanted. Do we need to reconsider our agreement? Monk? 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 Say something. You put our relationship on hold to be a friend to a dying man. And now you tell me that you made love with him? I didn't mean for it to happen. It didn't mean... Look, don't any... tell me it didn't mean anything. Because I know you well enough that you would never make love to anybody unless it meant something to you. Of course, it, it meant something to me. But it never would have happened had you not broken up with me. I broke up with you because I didn't believe that you could take care of Sebastian without it leading to more. You're blowing this so out of proportion. Blowing it. I am your lover. And you're a doctor. Have you ever thought about AIDS? Or other sexually transmitted diseases? You don't think I'm smart enough to use protection? I don't know what to think right, right now. I would never put you or myself at risk. I wanted to tell you. I really did. But I didn't, because I knew this is exactly how you'd react. So you just lied? To what, avoid the fallout? What kind of relationship is that? One where people make mistakes. Oh, Matt. Look, sleeping with Sebastian was a huge mistake. And not telling you was even bigger. All I can say is I'm sorry. And I hope that you forgive me. You betrayed me. And I don't know if I can ever get past that. Scott, I cannot arrest Bordizo without evidence. Oh, come on, Garcia, you want evidence? He told all those lies to try and destroy the Serena line. He kidnapped Lucy for crying out loud, and then he put the reward out to get Christina's mother to come out of the woodwork. I mean, what more do you want? Look, I'll check upstairs. Maybe I'll find something to help build a case. Oh. Good, thank you. Hey, listen, he's just trying to do his job. Yeah, I know, but Bordiso has crossed the line here, Lucy. Look at this place. I know. I just thought about what if I'd been here alone. Or worse, what, what if Christina and Serena were here with Lark 
What if he, he took them? He could do that, you know? Maybe this is what this is about, taking dirty kitty. Do you think he's trying to show us how easy it is to get to the girls? That's not gonna happen. Okay, this is the point that I'm starting to get really scared. All right, look. Garcia said that he'd keep his, his unit out front there to keep an eye on you, all right? Now, you just stay here with the kids. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Where are you going? Scott! <sighs> I missed you. What's wrong? There's no easy way to say this. Just say it. I think you should move out. I, uh... I wasn't aware there was a problem. Well, there is. It's me. I've realized that I, I can't... be responsible for my actions, and that means... that you're not safe here. Did you have another vision? That's just part of it. I thought you were going to go see Gail. I did, and I thought our first session went very well, but when I was leaving, there he was. The boy? Standing right in front of me. He was staring right through me. And then earlier today, I was working on my book, and I heard Victor calling to me, calling for Monk. And I couldn't block it out. I just lost control. Sweetheart, you're just frustrated. You know, that's a natural... I'm getting worse, Eve. Now, I'll continue my therapy with Gail. But until I'm convinced that I'm not a threat to you or to anyone else, I want you to leave. You'd never hurt me. You don't know that. And neither do I. And I love you too much to take that chance. Then you better figure out another plan, because I am not going anywhere. Eve, you have to leave. Okay. Let's just say that I... that I do pack up, uh, my sexy lingerie and move out of here. Okay. I'm not saying that I'm gonna do that, but just for argument's sake. Let's say that I do. What's going to happen the next time you have a vision? What if you do something drastic? Like... throw yourself off the roof of the lighthouse or something? You know? I mean, no, really, who is going to be there to talk you down with sweet nothings and a karaoke number or two? Plunging to my death off the top of the lighthouse isn't part of my plan. Well, I had this, uh, sexy boyfriend who once told me that you don't know that, and neither do I. And who says I can't protect myself? I know martial arts. And if I had to, I could tie you up to a chair. Now that sounds like fun. Look, Kevin, the old, uh, I love you too much to let you stay is not gonna work with me. So, you're not only a master of debate, but you're also a kung fu expert. That's just the beginning. You're a stubborn woman, Eve Lambert. Yes, I am. Look, there's one thing that I have never hidden is the fact that I am truly, madly, and deeply in love with you. And I'm not gonna leave you when you need me the most. So that's what happened. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm not sure okay is the word, but um, we're, we're all safe. We're fine. Um, you know, I came at a bad time. I think I'm just gonna go. Wait a minute, Ellen. Stop. Right there. Turn around. You have. You've been crying, haven't you? What's wrong? Matt found out about my sleeping with Sebastian. And from the looks of you, it didn't go very well, did it? Oh. I have never seen him so angry. I don't think he's ever going to forgive me. 
Oh, no. This is all my fault. I'm the big bozo who told you not to tell no, him. No, you just gave me advice. The decision was mine. Yeah, but I kept selling you on that advice, and now look what's happened. I'm sorry. I just don't think he's ever going to get past my sleeping with Sebastian. Oh, boy. Well, you know, I hate to say this, but Kevin, you know, when he found me with Scott, even though we had broken up, I'm afraid he never got past that either. Well, could we? If the, if the shoe were on the other foot? I don't know, you know. Us girls, we're different, right? I mean, we, we sometimes like to see the big picture instead, and men can be just so darn possessive and territorial and all. And here I thought Matt was different. Oh, Ellen, he is. He is different. That's why you're so crazy about him. Oh, but if you could have seen the look in his eyes, it was... It was <sighs> hurt. I, I, I know that look. But, but you know, I, I think he can get over it. And what if he doesn't? Then you just use that big, beautiful, spark brain of yours and you, you show him how he can, make him understand what happened. How? I, I, I can't do that advice thing anymore. Nope, I'm not going to give you any more advice. This is up to you now. You have to just follow your heart. Sorry, I mean, I mean, look at all this. You're in the middle of a crisis and you still have time for me. Well, that's okay. I'm glad because, you know, what I always say about, well, focus on somebody else's troubles and then you can forget about your own. But that doesn't always work, does it? No. No. Oh, please, come in. Well, you like messing up places, don't you? Well, you know, I kind of like messing up places, too. Well, it's a good, good thing like I've that. Got, it's a good thing I've got another one, huh? Yeah, you do. So I'm going to have to get a little personal here. Hmm, let's see. So what brought on this latest tirade? Well, I'm just finishing up what you started. Look at this. Those are handmade silk shirts. Yeah, well, now they're foot trampled on. Trampled? Yeah. You mean the way you and Lucy trampled on my fall line by getting it on Blackwell's worst dress list? Yeah, something like that, Bordizo. You know, I also noticed how it didn't take you long to take advantage of the depressed stock prices, which was also a result of your little stunt. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I wonder what the SEC would say about you tampering with stock prices. You know, with the uh, Serena Line's reputation for unethical business practices, I'd watch my step if I were you, boyo. Yeah, well, you're not me. Hey, you know what? I think that tie of yours is a little long. Let me take care of it for you, huh? Don't be stupid. You want this guy pressing charges I again? I don't really care. It'd be worth it. Would it be worth it to have Lucy and your kids visit you in jail? Well, I want him to stay away from my family. Detective, would you please tell me what this is all about? There was a break-in at the Baldwin residence. Uh, come on, Garcia. He knows what this is about. Please, you don't honestly think that I would resort to ransacking your house? Yeah, I think you'd resort to just about anything. But well, just... before you start spray-painting my walls, perhaps you'd like to know where I spent my day. Yeah, I'm sure you were probably hanging upside down in a closet. No, actually, I was attending a meeting with other concerned Port Charles citizens. The subject was the rampant vandalism that's been occurring lately. Ah, oh, shut up, Bordizo. Checks out, Scott. He was there. Vandalism is a terrible thing. Which is why I made a large donation towards a program for cleaning up destroyed sites. Uh, maybe you'd like some money to clean up your little mess. Yeah, well, speaking about money, Bordizo, you're just a little upset that your money didn't bring Christina's mother out of the woodwork. No, it hasn't yet. But you know what really gets you is the fact that no matter what you do, you can't come between Lucy and me. In fact, every time she looks at you, you know what? She just wants to throw up. Get out. Now listen to me. You made a mistake coming after my family. You do it again, and you're gonna regret it. We can get through anything, Christian. We belong together. Now and always. You love Jessica the same way I love Christian. To discover betrayal. You slept with her, didn't you? I don't want to ever see you again. Where will the heart lead? I need you to love me, Will. One life to live, your great summer escape. I need to speak with you. If I could erase what happened between Sebastian and me, I would. But I... I know, I, I know. You can't, I know. We've been so tested in this relationship. 
You lost your job because of me. Oh, jobs, they come and they go, but if I lost you, Matt, we can overcome this. How? By pretending it just didn't happen? No, no, by accepting that it did and moving on. Be honest. Would you have slept with Sebastian if part of your heart still didn't belong to him? I was confused. He was dying. I... I don't know why I did it. Well, Sebastian is gone. But, you know, in many ways, he's still very much alive. Oh, please, Matt, tell me, what can I do? Maybe my idea of love is just too tightly connected to my concept of loyalty. But that's, uh, that's who I am. And you lied to me. Oh. I can't just ignore that. I am not asking you to. I'm, I'm not asking you to. I'm just... I'm asking for a chance to win back your trust. You know, Ellen, every time that we're together, I just get this picture in my head of you and Sebastian. I can't shake it. But we can get through that. We can get somebody to help us. Isn't what we have worth, worth more than that? It was. You see, that doesn't exist anymore. That's it? Your hearing Victor is some sort of a psychic phenomenon. You mean like Victor calling to me from beyond the grave? Yeah, it's possible. Well, if I had such a unique ability, don't you think I would have experienced it before now? Like with Ryan or Grace or even with you, and I thought you died in the avalanche. Well, in my case, I didn't die. But, you know, there's always, always the first, first time. time. See? You are psychic. No, I'm just in sync with you. I still think there's something to my idea. I don't know. Oh, okay. Describe the boy that you see uh, to me. If we can find out who he is, then maybe we can find out why he's trying to contact you. If that's what's happening. Just go with me on this, okay? Okay. <clears throat> uh, light brown hair. Gentle face. He's thin, but he's not weak. A beautiful child, actually. And he has the most incredible piercing, piercing blue, blue eyes. eyes. How did you know that? Uh, you're describing an image of my son, the way I thought he would look like if he had lived. It's so strange. It seems almost as if we're having the same thoughts. Yes, it does. Kevin, do you think that... That what happened to us in Italy bonded us in a way that we're not even aware of yet? Exactly. I think it's more than possible. How far do you think this thing goes? Far. And deep. How about you? I'd be terrified if it were... Anyone else but you about how strong I think this is. You are home, thank goodness. You had me scared to death. Are you okay? You all right? Yeah, yeah, Lucy, I'm okay. I'm okay. All right, so tell me, what did you do? What happened with E.B.? Ah, nothing. Let's just say he's got to get himself some new disco shirts. What did you do? Did you do something to get yourself in big trouble again? No, I didn't. I wanted to beat him to a pulp, but I didn't touch uh, the bald head of his. Thank God. Yeah, well, that's what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to hit him, see, so that I'd be arrested. And then he would have a clear shot at you and the girls. But that's not going to happen. Right. Good. Hey, I'm proud of you. Thank you for keeping your cool. Well, Garcia showing up did help me. So, what did he say? Did D.B. admit to anything at all? Yeah, get this. Sorry. His alibi was that he was at a town meeting for vandalism. A town meeting? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I'd like to do? I would like to get both my hands around his scrawny neck and just squeeze until his beady eyes pop out. But 
what he's got me doing. Yeah, that's good. He's driving us crazy, isn't it? It's driving me crazy, so I'm going to take a deep breath. Come on. Let's not let him do what he wants to do to us. Let's focus and decide what our next move is, okay? All right. Okay. Be careful. Oh, my gosh, it's a dirty kitchen. Yeah, and a bed of flowers. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. There's a little note, too. What does it say? History repeats itself. You know, he's trying to do to me what my father did to him. Your father took Meg away from him. And he tried to take me away, but it didn't work, did it? So now he's after Serena, Christina. Next week on Good Morning America, back to school, learn what's new and cool. Plus, your bank may be selling your personal information. What you need to know, that's next week on Good Morning America.